on today's show, we finally get round to painting the giveaway frog that I built a few weeks ago. Um, I put an order in for the paint, but unfortunately there was difficulty getting the PS11. So I can't start the body until I have all the paints, obviously. So um, the company messed me around, but I've finally received them. Now we can crack on with the frog body because after today, I need to get this done today. I'm actually off uh, work for two days, so I've got four days off because my master plan is I need to redo the studio. I've completely run out of space and I want to change the orientation of the studio and to be able to show some more cars and make it a bit more interesting. And I've just outgrown the layout that I have right now. So I want to get this painted finished today and hopefully bring you this video tomorrow, which is Sunday. And then I'll um, crack on with the studio for two days. I will film it and put together a little behind the scenes video if you're interested or not, but uh, that'd be quite a bit of fun. Um, as I uh, rip everything to pieces and put it all back together again. Right, so looking at this body, there is mainly it's the pink around the bottom and then you've got the white and then you've got a little bit of black at the back and then uh, going over the roll bars. The roll bars I think are going to take me a while to mask them off um, because that's going to be the trickiest part and mainly concentrating on getting the pink nice and sharp all the way around the front because there's nowhere to hide from that as far as I know. Um, this was actually stamped out from a cast in 1983. So they're still using the original um, body blocks to make the uh, bodies, which is fantastic. I really like that. It's really nice because if you've got an original uh, car and you can pick up a Riri body and it is stamped with the original date in the bottom, you know that Yes, you're getting a Riri body, but it's exactly like the one that you would have had on the car. It could even be slightly thicker material, which means it's a little bit stronger, but it is for all purposes exactly the same body as the original. So it's a nice way to be able to put a reasonably low cost uh, replacement body on a rare car. So go Riri's. Right, let's crack on, because I've also got to paint the driver. Now the winner wanted it painted fully in box art which is kind of cool because I, I wanted to do one in box art. Um, I will purchase one of these cars for myself, I think, because um, I just, I think I really like this car. Um, so, right, let's crack on. So first things first, we probably need to mask out the windows. You have to cut out this section, which I'll do last. Um, so let's do the lines. Right, let's crack on. Normally when I'm cutting out a body I'll start with a rough cut just to get rid of the excess material around the base. Then I go in and do a much closer cut but not quite to the line. And then finally after that I'll go back spend much more time cutting out to the line. You can always take material away, but you can't add it back again, so take your time with it. The frog body was really easy, it wasn't difficult to cut out at all. So if you're looking to pick up a kit to start with, um, after my experience of building the chassis and the body today, um, yes, it's a great uh, kit to start with. And I'm really chuffed with uh, how beautiful it looks when it's fin uh, finally finished. So there you go, that's the basic cut done. Now I go in and do the final cuts around the body. It's a uh, very thin, very, very super thin car. Um, doesn't seem to be too difficult. I don't seem to have them too much. I think the paint job is gonna be a bit more um, tricky than the, um, than the cutting out. The cutting out's not too bad. There's a lot worse. And the spoiler is pretty standard stuff. So now go in, take a bit more time, do the cuts and then we sand it down and then we'll be ready to start masking. Let's crack on.
It's always funny when you're building a Riri, you don't really worry too much about the body and the stickers, and it usually goes very smoothly. But then you go and buy yourself a very rare, expensive body, or you pay a lot of money for a set of vintage stickers, and then when you go to cut them out, you end up with the shaky hand syndrome, and you always end up making a mistake that you have to fix, and then you get uh, stressed out because you spent so much money on it. Well, I guess that's the life of vintage. So I've fully cut out the body and just test fitted it on the car. Actually quite an easy body to cut out. So if you're thinking about doing a car like this as your first build, the body is looking pretty easy from the uh, cutting out and tracing the lines and things like that. Painting, I don't know yet, I haven't got that far. So the next thing that I've got to do is clean the body and then start masking up the pink and white line because that's the first thing to do. Right, let's crack on. Oh, postman just arrived and look what he brought me. Look. Look how gorgeous these images are. So uh, looking forward to having a look through that later and I might end up putting some of these pictures in frames. Uh, right, let's crack on. Time to clean up the body. So I've washed up cut out and lightly scrubbed the inside to give the paint something to adhere to. Next is to do the line across the uh, sides so that I can then paint it pink. So we need to start with a very sharp edge and that comes in the form of somewhere, there we go, one of these. So, next. The secret to a good paint job is the preparation, not the spraying. So, attention to detail is everything with your line. Using edging tape really gives you sharp lines, so I can highly recommend it. And it's take your time and make sure you press down the tape really hard. Finally, we're ready to do the first spray of the pink. The back two corners are super sharp. So, you, and you've got to get it dead on that line. So that is going to be tough. I know the spoiler sits over it, so you probably won't see it too much, but try your best to get it as sharp as you can. I'm struggling. Ideally, I would recommend using the paint mask. And I'm sure I've got some, but I can't really find it. Right, so let's go with the pink, and I'll be right back. So that's the first coat done. That's the pink along the bottom. Uh, from what I can see, it looks okay. There's one tiny little part there 
that I'll have to remove with the scalpel. It just seems to bleed, bled through just a tiny drip. And let's take it off and see what we've got. It's still tacky, so I have to be a bit careful. But uh, need to move on. Time is a ticking, and uh, I don't have much time to get this done. But I want it done properly. I don't want to ruin it. I'm latching on, don't even know your name But you're still in my head Underneath rays of gold Your body oh so close No, I can't forget, no When I saw you on the dance floor Oh, I saw you who saw me first I guess it's history now and I shouldn't care but it still hurts I didn't realize the danger Cause you're the end of the rainbow And the music was so loud there we go until I spray the white you won't really know how bang on it is but it looks okay it's not so next what's next what do we have to do so I think we're gonna have to do the black next Ooh. Right, it's going to take a bit of time to do the black, so get on with it. I'm latching on, don't even know your name, but you're still in my head. Underneath rays of gold, your body oh so close, no I can't forget no. For the interest of time, I actually painted the black section myself, I didn't spray it. Um, this is purely because I was running out of time. Um, you can paint um, and then use the spray paint. You don't get a reaction. But if you're going to use the uh, paint, use it around areas that don't flex much. Um, if you scour the back of the polycarbonate just a little bit, it helps it bite in so it won't flake off. It's got a little bit of giving it, but I keep it to areas that don't flex too much. You can then go over the top of it with the standard spray paint and I haven't had too many problems doing it that way. So we're cracking on, still doing, putting the stickers on and cutting them all out. Um, the back's come along much nicer now with the stickers that I've put in, everything lines up and the paint that I use is pretty much given exactly the same colour as the stickers. And uh, that means I'm getting like nice seamless sharp lines, which is excellent. Still got to be careful when you paint the black, this line is very important because your sticker that goes on there doesn't actually hide that whole line. So you still got to make the effort. Don't just assume the sticker will save you. If you, uh, if you try to work knowing that there's not stickers going over the top, then you'll never have a problem where you, you, you skimped a little bit, but the sticker then turns out not to cover it and then you're in a lot of trouble. On this occasion I used the anti-roll bar stickers that come with the kit instead of masking them off and painting them um, manually. But that was mainly down to the amount of time I had available um, this kit is actually going to two young boys as well, so they're going to be bashing it around in the garden and actually using it, which is fantastic. But um, that kind of detail we really only put into shelf queens and things like that. But uh, yeah, it turned out okay in the end, and the stickers work very well. You just got to make sure you line them up correctly.
the stickers in the frog kit are very easy the hardest stickers in the whole set is probably the roll bars but apart from that it's very standard stuff so again this kit doesn't really challenge you too much so a fantastic kit if you're thinking of starting out so I highly recommend it so go out grab one give it a go if you've been thinking about getting into RC I can highly recommend it and it might sound a bit scary with all the electronics and all this kind of thing and you're not quite sure what batteries to get but uh, trust me it's not as difficult as you think so crack on buy your first car and send me pictures and get in contact at Gavin Evans at rckicks.com I made a start on painting up the driver. While it was still on its spur, I got the first base coats on the driver. Saves you getting paint all over your fingers and then uh, snip it out, glue it all together or screw it together and then do the final uh, layers of paint on the detail once you've uh, put it together. The winner just wanted standard box art so the driver for the frog is a red helmet with black edging and then just seat belts uh, in the black I did them in red so I did a little bit of a change and then the driver's uniform um, overalls is just white so I put a little bit of wash on it to bring out some detail and then it's just the two bug lights which are black and yellow at the front uh, pretty straightforward If you're a hopeless painter, you can cheat. There's lots of people that sell pre-painted drivers on eBay. So if you're worried about ruining your car because you just don't have any painting skills, mine aren't brilliant, but I can just about stay within the lines. You can always go online and pick up a professional painted car, uh, driver. They're really easy to find. And some of them are amazing detail, way beyond my uh, expertise level. So there's a little cheat hack for you. have it fully finished at last it's taken me a bit longer than I uh, had planned with all the things going on with work and um, other projects but uh, I've really enjoyed this one and if you're looking for a car to start out I can highly recommend this one um, it's a very pretty car it's very retro that's for sure but it's been fun the body's not too bad to paint uh, the only bit I found difficult was the black bit at the back um, apart from that, really, really good. So next, it doesn't have a um, receiver in it. So uh, I'll put a receiver in it, just so I can do some running videos, so that when I send it to the winner, he can decide what kind of uh, transmitter receiver he wants. But I'll get a bit of running footage, and uh, I'll post that up 
soon. Next I need to crack on with stripping down the studio and rearranging it, so that's going to be the next two days. So I've been rushing to get this done and uh, to get this video to you. But I hope you like it and I can highly recommend the frog. It's a lovely kit, very retro, very fun, doesn't take itself too seriously. It's got some lovely metal parts in it and it is a little bit different. And it brings back amazing memories from when I was a kid because I've always wanted one of these. Well, congratulations to the winner. Uh, it will be winging its way to you soon. I just need to get your email, um, your home address. Uh, I think you actually sent it to me already, but I'll check and then I'll box this up and I'll ship it to you because I think you're in America. So I'll send it in a smaller box. Um, and then all you've got to do is put a uh, trans uh, receiver in it and you'll be able to uh, blast it around with your children. Well, there you go. Thanks very much. Hope you liked. If you did, please hit that like and subscribe button and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks very much. Bye bye.